When you are writing a CV, going for an interview or even just meeting someone for the first time, you are likely to emphasise your strengths over your weaknesses, right? You wouldn't go, for example, into a job interview and say, I think I will be good at this job because I hesitate all the time and I am never on time. That would be absolutely ridiculous, wouldn't it? We go into interviews confidently and tell those meeting us for the first time all the positive things about us and it's rare to talk about our weaknesses. In fact, we usually try to hide them. Today, more than ever, we are held in incredibly high standards of near perfection, causing us to brush our weaknesses under the rug and not let anyone know about our failures or shortcomings. We try to put on a facade of strength and we cannot hold it up forever. Sometimes we may feel weak at an insult thrown at us or even a hardship that seems to haunt us, especially on a night when we turn to sleep. The demons often keep us awake. Whatever has disturbed us, making us dwell even more on our weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Our lives often go through times of hardship and sometimes we incredibly let down ourselves and we incredibly let down by the system. That system can be anything that makes us feel vulnerable and open for an attack. We are only human at the end of the day and in times of trial we can become weak and often defenceless. The weakness on our side, this dependency towards our Creator and Father, is in fact our way to peace. The Apostles attributed all their abilities and successes, cures, conversions, to the power of God working through them. Only when we are humble in God's presence can he do great things in us. People often feel awkward about regarding humility as a virtue at all. It is really a good thing to feel small. Or does it harm us? or harm our ego and our self-confidence. Perhaps the word humble is too often misused, applied without much thought, to dwell that our shoddy are neglected, to efforts that are half-hearted, failures and to characters who adopt a pose or false modesty in order to win approval. Genuinely, humanity is what we simply recognise. The essential truth about ourselves. It is honest self-appraisal in God's presence with no pretences masks or poses. In the presence of the all-holy and powerful God, each of us knows himself or herself as weak, imperfect and indeed sinful. And with this we recognise our need for great mercy. There is no bribe that we can offer to blot out our guilt. There is no pressure 
we can exert, as we might among ourselves, to gain a credit we do not deserve. Our best recourse is a humble spirit. This attitude will draw down on us divine mercy and grace. The strength that God will provide in our weaknesses is much greater than any strength that we could muster on our own. So we should try not and hide it or avoid our weaknesses, but rather embrace them, allowing God to strengthen you in ways you could never have imagined. St Paul said in 2 Corinthians 12 to 10 That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong.